I w am a systemic reformer. So my architecture for California, which I've written about in a paper published by Pace, is uh, common core, it changes almost everything. But we have overhauled Engli English language arts and math under common core. We're an enthusiastic, want to be national leader of next generation science standards. And we just overhauled our history uh, civics framework. Right. So really what we're trying to do in large part is create classroom instruction improvements and changes that bring that about. I have this, uh, this framework which I published and in my mind, mm -hmm. uh, which is you take all of the policy pieces and I'll I reel them off and you make sure that they are aligned, coherent, there's no gaps, and moreover, that you do it in depth, sufficient depth. That's really hard. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easier to make the formal policies than it is do them in depth, for example, through capacity building. Mm -hmm. So in the center of my framework are these four curricular areas I indicated. Mm -hmm. And then around it are like pie slices of all these relevant policies. And they would be uh, the curriculum and the materials and that sort of thing and the standards. We use curricular frameworks as guidance in California. That's slice one. Slice two would be the assessment. We use Smarter Balanced, and that's aligned. Uh, slice three is the teacher preparation, teacher capacity building, and then our big gap is teacher evaluation. We really have nothing on that. And teacher capacity building, we've got a lot of going on, but it's nowhere near as in-depth or as widespread. Mm -hmm. And then you have the finance system, which we completely overhauled. Uh, you have special education, which is, you know, 15% of, uh, of the money. And we have a, a California all one system special ed vision. Uh, and then you have uh, English learners. We, er we merged the English learner curriculum framework and with the English language arts, but we still have, uh, we're, do we're doing a new assessment there called the LPAC. Uh, which is our own assessment. So we are, and we have a robust policy there. And then you get around a career in technical education. We have over a billion and a half dollars in building pathways that link from high school to community college or uh, into the workplace, employer buy-in. Waivers and flexibility. The state is a very aggressive waiver policy, and we do a lot of waivers. Yeah. So as you can see, we've filled all this in. People would argue preschool should be in there. Mm -hmm. We haven't done much on that. That's a gap, but if you're doing strictly K-12, it's not. And yeah. that, of course, is embedded in your uh, common core and your, and your assessments, yeah. the college readiness. So. What's, the, what's the thread that standards change everything? That in order to implement, let's just take Common Core, mm -hmm. you have to change everything, you have to deal with everything in those, all those slices mm -hmm. that I gave you. They have to be aligned so that your um, uh, college readiness standards are aligned to your curriculum or aligned to your assessment. We have our community colleges and our Cal State U's. They, they accept our 11th grade level three as not needing remediation. Mm -hmm. So you, you know, you align those pieces so that they're aligned. They're another CPRI watchword, coherent. Mm -hmm. Susan Furman wrote a, a book on coherent policy. I believe our policies are coherent. You try and work on your gaps. Teacher evaluation, arguably that. Now's the time to do it in California. You know, we passed on the first round. Did you, cho did you choose to defer that? Yeah, we chose to defer on the basis that it was premature to put teacher evaluation in as we changed all this curricula. Mm -hmm. So that it was the timing was of, of Duncan, as we saw it, was really off cycle with the fact that we were changing the curriculum and we were changing the assessment and changing all the other things. So they caught us right at the sort of midpoint of our change process. And at that point, you're supposed to evaluate your teachers. Uh, I mean, it just seemed to us nonsense. So we, we passed on that. Two questions arise from what, from what you've just so eloquently described. Um, number one is, of those slices of the pie, have you learned anything about which ones leverage other ones? No, they all leverage each other. The whole idea of alignment and coherent is that they're aligned and coherent to reinforce each other. 